showing you how to check your wheel bearing. This will be mostly for the Chevys, um, the Chevy Silverados, the Sierras, the Avalanche, the Escalades, the Denali's, the Yukons, Suburbans. Um, I think I already said Avalanche. But this is pretty much for all the little SUVs, the 3500s, um, even the dualies. This is going to be basically be showing you how to check the front wheel bearing to see if there's any play. Um, this is the 4x4. Now the two-wheel drive is similar in that matter. So basically um, one way of symptoms is basically um, your brake pedal gets either too spongy, you hear some noise coming from the wheel bearings itself. Now if the wheel bearings they'll be kind of wobbling like this and then your your brake pads will never stay closed so they'll always stay open and then they're getting stretched out and that would cause your rotors to warp and prematurely um, wear the pads too as well so i'm going to in this video i'm going to show you how to check the wear for, um at the the play for that very simple we're going to show you how to jack it up and that if you haven't already give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions in this and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for, for watching we're going to First things first, um, customer has a little lift kit. So basically, if you, <clears throat> which most people do, they'll have a little splash shield right here. You can actually jack it up from this point and then we're gonna be just lifting it up in the air and you can put like some jack stands on the subframe itself. I will show that. Or you can put the jack stands right here, right next to it. So you would lift it up from the center and then the jack stands will be on the side of it and then you would have both wheels up. I already know which side that's bad and um fourth on so this is the four by four so as you can see i did lift it up on the four by four um arm itself just because it's more of a flat surface now other spot which you can do is you can jack it up from here the subframe itself so here one of the bolts and then here's the subframe itself you can jack it up anywhere on the subframe itself and put a jack stand right there All right, so after we got the wheel, let's see if I can show this. So right here, we got the wheel. So basically you would be doing a 12 o'clock and a six o'clock. So six o'clock up on the bottom and then 12 o'clock on the, on the top. So you'd have one hand. Now we would grab both firmly and then twist. So you see that little movement? And you can even see the rotor moving all that that's a bad sign of a wheel bearing now side to side it won't move but you can get your little play in the in the rack and pinion some cars will be a steering gear or um, uh, a sway bar arm so but basically I'm um, getting back to the this video so again so we know our wheel bearings bad and then if you spin it if you can hear that noise, the wheel bearings are shot. So those are two ways you can tell. Um, with the two-wheel drive, it's more easier to spin as versus the all-wheel drive. Make sure it's in two-wheel drive when you're trying to spin this and it's not engaged in 4x4. Four four. Um, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment again down below and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.